one piece of rubber, there's no cuts in it. All our tension is on a flat area. You wouldn't want to stick your rubber onto here first and fold it in, because then you're stretching the rubber, and it's going to want to, it has memory, so it wants to pull back away from that corner, creating bridging and allowing water to leak in. Right here we had ran the rubber over the hole of the scupper. Basically I'm just cutting out this opening because all this rubber will be gone for the uh, water to actually escape. And I'm just cutting this rubber as tight as I can to the opening so that way I don't have any loose floppy rubber. And you can see here we have the scupper, this metal scupper that we had made already installed. So basically what we're going to be doing is flashing this rubber to this metal. So that way we have a complete seal around the whole thing for water to escape through and not to get underneath the scupper here. That's what we're going to work on is installing a flashing in these corners. And then uh, just some stripping rubber in the middle to connect the flashings. So. So we have a couple different types of rubber here. This is our uncured rubber. So it's actually flexible. You can shape it around corners and whatnot. And this is our cured rubber. So it's not, it's malleable, but you can't uh, stretch it basically. So we use that on any straight pieces, but if we got to flex anything, we use this uncured rubber. This is a bit more expensive, but we have the ability to stretch it and manipulate it a lot more than this. So we'll actually use these on our corners because we're stretching the rubber. And then we'll use these top and bottom to connect our corners. What I have here is a, the primer that we use with our flashing rubber. It's um, basically you're using it to clean the rubber and it helps clean the rubber and for the rubber to bond. So we're actually scrubbing the whole area where the uh, flashing will be installed. I like to go a little bit bigger. If you don't go big enough and you put your flashing on, then you gotta wait again to put down more stuff. So I just go a little extra on the area. When I go to put this on, I'll show you kind of how much we're actually covering here. And we're putting this uh, primer on here. It's, uh, it's a pressure based, so you gotta use pressure to uh, make the bond. So once uh, we put the rubber on, we'll use a roller to put pressure on the rubber, and that way it actually bonds to our primer and our substrate here. We wanna try avoiding leaving any big clumps of primer. So basically this primer is ready for the uh, rubber to be installed. Once you put your hand on it and the primer doesn't come away with your hand. So like right now I put my finger on there and I have primer on there. You want it to be where you can touch it. We don't have any anything coming off with our hands, so. All right. So first thing I'm gonna do here we're going to start in the bottom. Um, I'll take this plastic off halfway. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to lay this down about halfway. So I left that plastic on the bottom just so it wouldn't stick. Because this stuff, as soon as you touch it to any of this primer, it's pretty much an instant bond. So I'm going to go about halfway, this triangle here, and push it down into that corner to minimize bridging, then I'm gonna work my way up here to get rid of any air bubbles that might wanna try getting in there. And then I'm gonna fold this up and swing this around this corner here into the scupper, push it back down into the corners. Make sure you get everything nice and tight there. I'm gonna peel off this second half 
And this is the part that we're gonna basically fold down onto here. What I'm gonna do is just kinda push it down just a little bit and then start on the outside here. Because basically what is gonna happen here is this rubber's gonna stretch, so it's gonna have tension in it. But I want the tension in that rubber to be in this middle here. So I don't have any tension that's wanting to pull this rubber away from the walls. So we're gonna push down and get our rubber bonded here on the edges first and then work into the middle and slowly work this out. You don't want to rush it. You want to give it a little bit of pressure. Make sure that bond is going. Just remember we, this stuff is pressure is what makes it actually stick. I'm going to work out the middle a little bit, not rushing it. You don't want to rush it because you don't want to uh, create any air pockets in there. So again, we're just working out these edges. And once you get an inch or two away from that wall, you can start to put more pressure on this middle and stretch the edges out. That's how you do that one. These upper corners, see on this one here, we attach it to these two and we came out on a flat. On this one here, we'll attach it to these two and we'll come out onto a different flat. So it's done a little bit differently in this, even though it might look the same, it's a different way you wanna roll that rubber out. So we'll get this one on, we'll get this bottom strip on, and then we'll show you how to put the flashing on these upper corners. This is that cured rubber we are talking about. Um, this is just connecting that one, the point here so we don't have to use, uh, it's just a straight piece. So we don't have to use the uh, uncured rubber. So all we're doing is just trying to connect these two points. So that's all that piece is doing. And then I'm gonna roll this. This corner up here, we're gonna do it a little bit different than we did down here. First thing I'm gonna do, is the same stuff as last time. I'm gonna take this one side off here. I'm going to fold it in half, but then I'm actually going to fold it in half again into a piece of pizza. And there's a certain way you want to put it on because if you, I could just stick it on like this, but then obviously I'd fold that way. So I want to put this clean fold right here. So it's going to tuck up into that corner like this. And I'll stick this on, make sure it's good. Then I'll work it up into the corner of the flashing. Make sure everything's good. Then I'll fold this up under the top here. Make sure it's nice and tight. And I'll fold this out like this. At this point, remove the plastic. And then what I'm going to do here, it's kind of the same concept as before. I'm going to start on my edges, get them stuck, put a little pressure on there. So it bonds. And then from that point, I can start stretching out that middle here. So this will actually open up and stretch. So you want to work this slowly so you don't create any air bubbles. Because the problem if you leave an air bubble, basically you have a void below your rubber and something, if something sharp catches on that, it has potential to create a hole in your rubber, allowing water to work its way in.
one piece of rubber, there's no cuts in it. All our tension is on a flat area. You wouldn't want to stick your rubber onto here first and fold it in, because then you're stretching the rubber and it's going to want to, it has memory so it wants to pull back away from that corner, creating bridging and allowing water to leak in. This way we're sticking it to here first so there's no tension on this area. All the tension's on here, it's on a flat area and it's pulling against itself. So that way it's not going to come loose later. So we're going to do the same flashing on this corner here and take this strip and pull it on here to connect the metal to the rubber. And at that point, once all that's installed, we'll dry up all this ice again and uh, we're gonna run a caulk bead on any cut so that way nothing can peel up on these edges causing it to leak. And at that point, this will be an operating scupper. Water can freely flow out into our gutter system and go down. So what we have here is our lap sealant. We're gonna run this caulk along this full edge basically getting rid of that hard edge there like we talked about earlier so anything that comes in contact that will be able to slide over that and they'll help seal this edge completely to the rubber here so the stuff kind of levels out on its own it's it nice and smooth obviously you want to try to make it look as good as you can the better it looks, the better it works. And we're just sealing up that whole edge. And a trick to caulking, the more comfortable you are, the better caulk bead you're gonna get. So if you're, if you have to do like an awkward angle or something, Get your hands and your arms and your body in the most comfortable position. The more comfortable you are, the easier caulk bead you'll be able to get. So we'll caulk this, all these cuts, on all this rubber, to make sure it's stable. All right guys, thanks for watching our video on our scupper details. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and we'll see you on the next one.